Thank you. So uh, again, I am Kim Robbins. I am an email designer at Aweber. Um, we're an email service provider uh, right outside of uh, Philadelphia. And I worked on this cool little tool called Duotoner with um, our creative director, Chris. And um, basically what it is is just, it's intended to help people create images with a duotoned effect more easily. Um, so, you know, what you see here. Um, I'm gonna talk a little bit about what inspired me to do this. Um, so basically, it started with the style tile that you see here. Um, this is a style tile that was created by Mike Smith, who is our art director. And um, he was rebranding a pre-existing guide that we have for customers and prospects called What to Write. Um, he created a framework for guidelines um, for the styling for this particular guide, and that included this style tile. Um, what was cool about this was that different designers on our team could work independently, but then um, still have you know, cohesive designs, um, even though that we're creating all different assets. Um, Mike actually wrote a really cool Medium article about this framework, um, and it's really helpful if you either don't have a design team and are trying to do things yourself, or um, you do and you just need a little bit more structure um, there. So, I basically decided as the email designer, I was going to create an email template for our customers. Um, it really had nothing to do with the actual guide. I just really liked the styling that, um, that Mike had made, so I wanted to offer an email template that our customers could use. Um, so when I was building out um, the placeholder text and placeholder images, I realized that the duotoned images really did something for the whole aesthetic of the template. And I didn't want to not use those in the placeholders, but I also didn't want to you know, alienate any of our customers or make them feel frustrated that they didn't understand how to create images like this, um, or they didn't have the tools to create images like this, or I didn't want to confuse them if they're dropping in new images and they assume that this filter is automatically going to be applied. So that's when I had like one of those, hey, wouldn't it be cool if moments? So um, basically, when I had that thought, I took my headphones off, looked over at Mike, our art director. He's the one with the lip spur eyes there. And uh, you know, I stare at him until he takes his headphones off, and I go, you know, hey. <laughs> He's like, what's up? I'm like, wouldn't it be cool if we had some sort of like just really simple code pen tool that we can drop a link into this template so that customers, when they're using this template, they can just upload an image add the filter, adjust it however they want, and download it. And he was like, yeah, cool, 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 like, do it. So I kind of like sat there for a couple of minutes, thought about some ideas, you know, as to how I could execute that. But um, I relied on Chris, who is the rainbow vomit there. Um, <laughs> he, um, he actually, you know, was super excited when I approached him about this. He's actually super excited about everything all the time. Um, but. You know, I told him my idea, he immediately got why I wanted to do this and why it was important that I felt like we made this tool um, that was really easy to use for our customers. Um, so when we decided to build this tool, we were like, we just gotta get this done. It seems like something that we can do really quickly. Um, so we set out to do just that. Um, so our approach basically came down to time boxing the work, committing to a simple UI, making it work, releasing it, getting feedback, and then iterating on that. Um, we knew that if we didn't time box this, that it would just kill any productivity with getting it done. We had other important things that we had to be doing, but we knew that we could probably just get this done in like an hour if we just sat down and got it done. So we basically just brought up the calendar and we're like, you know, when's the next hour that we are both free? And that was like the next day. So we booked that hour and committed to one another, um, you know, that we would have a UI and a working tool within that hour. Um, we knew that the UI needed to have three simple steps. It just needed to have a way to select an image, a way to choose a color, and then a way to download the image. Um, we definitely are not developers, but we did know that um, we could just use a HTML5 canvas and some JavaScript libraries to do exactly that. Um, so as far as releasing, 
we just kind of went on Twitter and said like, hey, we made this cool thing. And that's also where feedback started coming in from. Um, so our friends at Really Good Emails made the fir first feature request, which was to add a custom hex code field. And Chris pretty much just like went right home and did that right away. Um, they also had another suggestion to add different blend modes. We originally just started with multiply, um, but then we added additional ones. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna show you really quick how this works. Hopefully I can get this to do what I want it to do. So this is it, it's just on CodePen, nothing super special. But um, basically all you need to do is grab an image. You should be able to drop it in here. Um, I don't know if it's gonna work from there, but then you can also just pick a color. I'm gonna put this down. So you should just be able to add the image in here and then once you um, do that, you can pick any color. Um, there's also the hex code option here, so you can just go in and change the hex code if you would like. Um, and then once we choose this, we can go into advanced options. There is the option to adjust the contrast, and then also we can change the blend mode here um, to whatever we would like. And then we just download it, and then you can throw it into your email. So basically, that was the whole idea. That's how it was inspired for email. Um, you know, just a simple tool to help our customers. So that's it.